already seen how the rear bed drops down onto the charger as a fully assembled piece. You leave the bolts loose, but you want to make sure that the front edge down low is touching the floor of the charger, and you want to make sure the rear is touching the floor of the charger, just how we ended the last section. This is the B-pillar brace. The B-pillar brace rivets to this entire seal area where the old weather strip was for the rear door. You're going to find this little ledge here. I can zoom in a little. This little ledge here has a little indent, and this B-pillar brace is going to fit right into that indent. So we're going to take the B-pillar, we're going to position it first, and we're going to, you know, if you clamp it in place, I use little vice grips to just clamp it in place. I'm going to help you position it as long as your leading edge of this is on the ground and your bolts are in place where the seat belts were from the last time, this one should be very easy. So pre-position this piece when you find, I'm going to zoom in here, this little area, this little ledge, there's two pieces of aluminum. There's the front wall and there's the outer bed wall. Those two pieces have a ledge here that match. The, the, the little one inch ledge here should match up really close. A sixteenth or so, no big deal. So put this one on top of that and your first positioning piece, all you got to do is keep that flush. You know, get it. And remember, we're just getting it close. And uh, take a clamp and just squeeze it tight. Now that'll That'll keep it in position so that you can take a look and see how everything else fits. We're also going to go down to the bottom. And we're going to try to find, remember, I'll, I'll pull this aside. See how this ledge is here? We're going to put this right on the ledge. This should be about even in the rear. I'll take a quick look to see where this goes. Take a clamp. <laughs> take a clamp and just give it a good positioning squeeze there. So now we've got one in the middle, we've got one on the bottom. Now's the time to just double check. I'm going to push the top of this B-pillar brace in just to see. I'm going I'm to squeeze this in. And you want it to follow the seam, remember. And I'll take another clamp at the top here and just see how. Let's get this out. So I'm going to I'm going to say that we're pretty close here. I've got this one mounted. It's a little off here, so I might tap it with the hammer. The bottom looks pretty close. The top is following the seam. Just you know, follow your seam all the way around. And we're looking pretty good here. So if I was to, yeah, that's pretty good. That's an old hole that just happens to be there. So in order to mount the B-pillar, I like this. Double check, feel your bottom here. We're going to put one or two rivets in place just to see if we're on the right spot. Release the top clamp. So release that one so there's no pressure. This stays nice and flat now on the bottom, and you can uh, rivet it much easier. So said that, let's get a couple of should. You sometimes you have to chase these holes a little bit. Now, if you don't have one of these from Harbor Freight or somewhere else, what a fantastic score this is. Um, these, uh, these automatic riveters are, uh, you know, the hydraulic riveters are absolutely fantastic. I'm going to hook this one up here so you'll get a good idea of how great they are. And I pushed pretty hard to make sure it's seated. So sometimes the shaft stays behind. Don't worry, we're just positioning right now. So I do one in the middle there, I do one up top. And once again, all you want to really make sure is that your rivet is holding the aluminum flat up against the inner piece. That's nice and clean. So there's our two positioning uh, rivets. See how the view is looking here. So I've got a positioning rivet that I just mounted right here, another one here that I'll have to remove the, the shaft of, and I'm going to put one more down here uh, just so we can pull off those clamps and see how we're doing as far as lining up.
better view of the back of my head, it looks like. Anyway, the air riveters make this. I mean, you're, you're, if you want big forearms, by all means. Uh, It stayed on too. I think I need a little more air pressure in my riveter, but that gives you the idea. Once you have that uh, set up, let's do this. Once you have a few of these pilot rivets in place, I have one here, one here, and one at the bottom. You can take your clamps off, and that's the positioning of the. That's the positioning of the front bracket. I, you'll notice I leave this here. Use your clamp to double check now just to make sure you're still within the groove. This one is. It looks really good. So this final position looks really nice. I'll take this off again. So now these pieces are all flat and you can finish position later. Uh, I'm going to put a test piece through here, a test rivet, just to hold this in position. Um, I'll drill with my drill. I'll put a 3 16 in here at the top right about Make double sure it looks it looks nice and level. Make sure it's pressed down. You might have to wiggle it a little bit. Remember, we're going through three layers of aluminum here, and this will give us a nice anchor point. Sometimes I don't even pull the rivet all the way because I know I might be dri drilling it out. So my pressure is low on my rivet gun, but that, you know, this, this will break right off. Um, that really does. Right now, this bedside is in a temporary positioning. Um, it's temporarily positioned, and we'll do this at the end, but look at that. That'll go right down now nice and flat, nice and structural. We'll leave that up just in case we make a mistake. We've only done three rivets. So we really like... Uh, so just in case we uh, don't like the positioning, we only put three rivets in, and they drill out in five seconds. So this is how you position it. This will obviously come down and be finished riveted later. But for right now, all we're talking about is mounting this to this and freezing the position. Once we do this, we can then go on to the other side, position the fiberglass, the rear tailgate, and make sure that everything lines up before we do all the final riveting. And that's the key to this car. Position everything loosely, make sure it's right, make sure the body fits, then take the body off, finish your, your riveting, and you've got a car that looks great.